One of the first arm balances that many of us learn in yoga is crane or crow pose, bakasana. There are many aspects to this pose. We'll just focus on one. There are other videos that you might want to check out on hand position and opening the hips, two very important pieces to this pose. In this practice, we'll learn how to move forward in the action of finding that balance point for your pose. How do we balance in Bhakasana? We'll begin in all fours position. In hands and knees, learn how to claw the mat. As you press your fingertips down, then press the base of the fingers down, then the fleshy part of your thumb down. So your knuckles are slightly lifted. In this position where your hands are forward, lift yourself up so that you can come to a squat position. In your squat position, the heels are lifted. The big toes are drawing together. Adjust your hands so that the hands can take more weight. Now the pelvis is way back from the hands. Where we need to get is the balance point where right over the foundation, our hands, we've got the pelvis. So the, the action is to hug the knees in come way forward. Now you may feel, oh, all of the, all of the weight is at the base of the thumb. So you'll have to lift up slightly with the knees wide apart. You'll lift up so that you can move forward. The knees squeeze in. And when the knees squeeze in, the toes lift up. Coming in and out of this pose, you come into the pose by going forward. You come out by going back. You're just moving the center of gravity. That's the heaviest part of your body, your pelvis for most of us. So you draw the pelvis way forward and you have to make sure your foundation in your hands very stable. By coming to the fingertip tops, Lifting the knuckles, you get the upper arms to engage more fully. We'll be practicing the bent arm version of Bakasana. We're not going up, we're moving forward to get into the pose. In all fours position, spread your fingers, have your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart, my baby fingers are off the mat in this. With your toes tucked under, lift your knees up. Keep the inner big toes together. Position your hands so that as you lift your pelvis up, that's the part where we elevate. Now draw forward, draw way forward, way forward so that you can lift your feet up. Come back to take your feet down. Learning this movement forward is challenging because for many of us, our wrists are not there yet. So let's practice without thinking about going into the full pose. How can we move our weight forward in that way? As you take your hands to the mat, come to a squat position, First, you elevate the pelvis so that you have room to move forward and back. You move forward and back. You move forward, you're on your tiptoes, you can almost lift up. Now see if you can, lift up just for a second. So you move forward, you lift up and back. Forward, you lift up and back. Just by repeating that action, 
clawing the mat, you find access to so many arm balances. So the steps, you elevate the pelvis first, you move forward, and notice how you have to go down even more. You're forward and down to really get into the pose of this bent elbow bakasana. As you develop the pose more fully, you can come towards straight arms in bakasana. But for now, just learning how to move that center of gravity, your fulcrum point forward is the biggest challenge to learning this pose. Let's try it one more time. With your inner big toes together, hands forward, fingertip tops clawing the mat, Elevate first, lift your pelvis up, move your pelvis forward, move your heart forward as you do. Can you lift your toes up? You might go down slightly. Release your feet back. So there you have it. Just one more tip to draw you just a little bit deeper into your practice. Once you're able to make this movement forward in your arm balances, so many of them become available to you in your practice. Namaste.